about to be it's close to like 1 p.m. I generally don't like to work in my bed but today is a special day because there's been a few changes that have happened that I haven't really talked about I am no longer working at my full-time job today is officially my first day not working. I am going to be a full-time content creator and podcaster and I wanted to talk a little bit about why I made that decision because it was not a decision that I took lightly. I am so glad that I went through and did my internship, went into a full-time job, felt what that was like, gained a lot of insight and just for right now I needed to really prioritize myself and I didn't want my YouTube or my podcast to hurt because I also have a full-time job and I want to keep growing my YouTube and my Instagram and just the whole like content creator space. I really want to just like fully devote myself to that and also the podcast which I love so much and it means the world to me and Yoni. I just couldn't give 100% of myself to three different things. My reality for the past like three to four months is that I've just been working non-stop from when I wake up to when I go to bed, which is probably like 2 or 3 a.m. in order to get three jobs done, to get my full-time job done, my own YouTube and all that done, and the podcast. Like that's a lot of work and there's no time in between to take care of myself, to cook a good meal, to go for a walk, to go outside. I want a voice that I'm so fortunate in the fact that I can not work at a nine to five job and still be able to support myself. And um, that's just where I'm at right now. I am super excited to be honest, like I, there's no bittersweetness. I've been waiting for this moment for quite a bit now. Either way, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna, should I go to the gym? I went to a yoga class last week and I'm pretty sore from it because I've just been so not into working out at all. Like I just haven't had the time, but now I have the time and I'm gonna make it a priority to move my body, to fuel my body, to take care of it because this is the only one you got, guys. It's so important. And I hate not being a part of your life. I hate standing on the outside. Taking care of myself really means caring for the inside as well as the outside. I am so happy to partner with Trilogy on this video as they are a New Zealand based brand that is a pioneer and expert in formulating sustainable and clean beauty products that truly perform. I've been loving the vitamin C booster treatment as I've noticed my skin is now brighter and more glowy. I also love how unique this is since I got to freshly activate it myself and so I'm reassured that this is the most potent form of vitamin C and I can clearly see how my skin is getting the maximum results. I've also been using their microbiome complexion renew serum and their ultra hydrating face cream which I love. You can purchase Trilogy on their website or at your local Whole Foods market and I am so excited that for February you can use my code code ALIA50 for 50% off of your order and after February you can still get 20% off of Trilogy. So I'm making some lunch slash brunch. I just didn't really get around to eating yet today which is not great. Good thing that Yoni left some leftovers for me. He made this like chicken breast with onion and like a tomato sauce and 
I don't know, it's really good and like some spinach, so there's enough left over for one person. I'm just boiling some water, I'm gonna make some pasta, and then add to the sauce, I'm gonna cut up a zucchini for some extra veg. And um, can I just tell you that today, the stress level compared to the last week and like the last couple of months, but especially the last week, the stress level has gone from here to here and I feel incredible. Like I feel so, so good. I haven't felt like this in a long time. Having the time to like do things for myself, you feel like a person. Just going to the gym for a little bit, I didn't do anything crazy. I literally just walked on the treadmill for an hour. I feel like a little bit better that I moved because I was really sore. I'm gonna finish this food. Then, and then probably do a little bit more work. It's absolutely incredible today. It feels like spring. When the sun is out, it's just a whole different vibe in Seattle. I uh, went to yoga this morning and it felt really good. I went to a 9 a.m. class. And speaking of just like new routines, I wanna start off this new um, chapter in my life with a little bit of a challenge. And you guys might have heard of the 75 hard challenge or the 75 soft challenge. Things that I want to implement and keep in my routine and like habits that I wanna build. So my first one is that I want to do a 45 minute workout daily. Basically move my body for 45 minutes, at least 45 minutes a day. And that could be like going on a 45 minute walk a hot yoga class that's like 60 minutes going to the gym for 45 minutes and doing various things like running and walking on the treadmill and then I do like some weightlifting. Okay, the second one is that I want to read at least for 30 minutes. I want to get back into my reading because now I have the time. I have so many books that I still need to read that are just sitting in my bookcase. The next one is that I want to drink two to three bottles of water. And when I mean bottle of water, I mean the water bottle that I have with me all the time, which is about like this size. I don't know exactly. Oh, it says right here. I think this is a liter of water. So I'm gonna try to drink at least two to three of these every day. I also want to eat whole foods. I want to eliminate as much processed stuff as possible. I have been eating a lot of processed stuff in the last couple months just because of convenience. Getting a lot of veggies and fruit in my diet. They have been missing from my diet recently. Obviously on the weekend or like whenever I'll have a snack, I'll have something like that's why it's a soft challenge. You just want to stick to it as much as possible. And last but not least, get eight hours of sleep every day. Also want to sleep at 
a good time. I want to go to bed at by like 11 or midnight. I don't want to go to bed past midnight, which has been what I've been doing. Get myself to wake up around 7 30, 8. So those are all of my points that I'm gonna try to stick to for the 75 soft challenge. And I just wanted to share with you in case you want to join me, create your own list. I do have a little bit of work to do. I just have some emails that I gotta finish up. And then ugh, the day is so gorgeous. I might want to head out. So we'll see. But I'm gonna just write some emails. Go. <laughs> are so cold. I underestimated how cold it was, so I just stayed with this cardigan. The apartment is kind of a mess. A lot of things just randomly. The kitchen is actually all right, but the bedroom, my bedroom is slightly, kind of needs to be a little organized. We also have two office chairs because I got a new one and we got to take this one to Goodwill, but who's had time to do that? TV stand has been here for like, I don't even know how long because we got a new one. Hi. Also have laundry to put away. So I'm gonna get cozy, um, warm myself up and try to put all this away. And then we're gonna make a nice, cozy, wholesome dinner. I don't know what yet. We might need to go to the store for that. I don't know why it's like so funny to see yourself like filming. I think it's so awkward for some reason. Okay, time to clean up. got some roasted cauliflower, some roasted red peppers, roasted red onion, best thing ever, roasted butternut squash, some blistered shishito peppers, and some grilled chicken with a little bit of like onion salt and some herbs. I also made this goat cheese yogurt chive and lemon sauce or topping. I wouldn't really call it a dressing. I'm so hungry and I was really craving some just vegetables, you know? I haven't had vegetables in a long time. This giant bowl is the perfect 
place to start. I'm gonna eat this and um, call it a night. I hope that the good vibes I was feeling came through the camera to you and now you feel good vibes. And as you might know, I suck at outros, so I'm just gonna say bye. See you later.